fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Cross Geats Raise Buckle from Kamen Rider Geats. Now it's very apparent that this is just a repaint of the Boost Mark 9 Raise Buckle, but if that one was 9, this one's 10, so it's gotta be better. But even though it's an X, they pronounce it Cross. I don't know, they do all kinds of stuff. Sometimes they pronounce it X, sometimes they pronounce it 10, sometimes they pronounce it Cross. I believe in this case it is Cross Geats. Uh, now, this was featured in, I think, the Geats Summer movie, uh, but it has this black and, and teal color scheme that I absolutely love. Very Tron-esque, very much reminds me of Tron, and I'm a huge Tron fan, so I always love these colors together when they put it on pretty much anything. I just love this color scheme. Uh, but yeah, so this was a premium Bandai item. I got this recently. Very excited to check it out. Up here, you can see you have the kind of completely compact... Uh, you know, this is the Boost Mark III when it's completely compact like this. You do get a new uh, core ID, and then of course we have the fully deployed uh, Cross Geats raise buckle on both sides, and then a picture of Cross Geats here. Again, loving that suit, absolutely love the purple eyes that just completely, I mean, you didn't think you could plus it. They did. Boom. Gave it these violet eyes. Completely adds to the color scheme. I love it. Looks amazing. Uh, not really much going on down here. Your usual warnings and whatnot. Does have two LR44 watch batteries already included, so no batteries needed. When you get this, it's ready to go. Uh, just have the name of the buckle over there, and the picture is kind of extending a little bit onto the side. And then over here, again, just showing you the contents. You have the two halves of the buckle, and then the new core ID. Over here on the back, uh, showing you how to pop it into the Desire Driver. Works almost identically to the Boost Mark 9 buckle. We'll take a look at all that. If my Desire Driver decides to cooperate, because one side of it barely functions anymore, so that's kind of a bummer. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead, let's get this out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here is everything that's included. We have our new Core ID which looks fantastic. It is done in black plastic. Some nice metallic teal or turquoise there on the front. Loving the look of that, but otherwise not really much else to say about it, just done in the black plastic. Uh, then we have our two halves of the buckle. Really, really nice. Like I said, I just absolutely love this color scheme. You have the translucent uh, blue here. You have blue plastic. You have some metallic blue paint. Just all in all looking very, very sharp. Then over here, this is the side that has the sound effects, so it's a little bit bulkier. The batteries are housed in this compartment here, and this is where you pull the little tab out when you take it out of the box. If you would ever need to replace the batteries, you just depress this little tab right here with some kind of piece of plastic or something. I usually use like a Lego piece, like a rod or something to do it. And then this will slide out, and then the watch batteries are there underneath, so you could replace them that way. But yeah. This is, again, very much blue plastic, translucent blue plastic over here. And then the speaker is housed right there. So, very, very cool. Now, how this works, uh, you take this. If this isn't, if this, like, little fox head piece is flipped this way, you want to flip that back up until it will click into place. And then you have your three clips here. And they are going to clip right here, here, and right there. So, just line them up and clip them on. There we go. So now you have the full Boost Mark III version of the uh, Cross Geats raise buckle here. So let's go ahead, let's bring in our Desire Driver. So just fair warning, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I've been messing with it a little bit and it's kind of working, but may have to adjust some stuff as we go. But first we can go ahead and pop in our new Core ID. Just says entry as it always does you can see the led inside it comes through the metallic paint a little bit but not too much overall looks pretty good so we'll go ahead and pop this on here in uh, mark three uh, version Fight. 
So the desired driver just reads it as Boost Mark 3. I'm assuming that the rail system underneath is exactly the same. All of the cross geat sound effects are going to be in this top piece, which is not activated when it is connected to the other piece. So not really anything new there sound-wise, but it is possible to get all of the Boost Mark III sounds out of the desired driver with this. All right, now comes the moment of truth. You're gonna to wanna to disconnect the buckle and then split the two halves. So wow, I'm really lucky. It actually worked the first take completely as it was supposed to. So when you snap them apart, it triggers the sound effects in the top half. You pop that first half back on, pop the second half. Now when you pop on the second half, it's going to cancel out the kind of like, you know, standby music of the first half. Then you revolve on to make all the pieces flip open and you get this really beautiful looking buckle here. Again, very, very similar to the Boost Mark 9. You have the fox here with the nine tails looking amazing in black and blue, and you still have those little purple eyes. I just absolutely love the look of this. It looks fantastic. Now you can also still use the other side of this as well. So if you actually use that side, it will cancel it out, but if you do this again... So that's pretty much it for this one, short and sweet, but I really, really like this. I just think this design is so cool. I loved it back as Boost Mark 9. I love it even more in this color scheme, the black and the blue, very, very awesome, especially with that little bit of metallic purple there for the eyes. I absolutely love it. Sound effects and everything are great. Hopefully your desired driver still reads buckles on both sides because it's kind of important for this one. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really a, a lot of fun. I like it a lot. I mean, the sound effects are pretty great, but really this one for me comes down to aesthetics. I just think this looks so good. Uh, I love Cross Geats. I'm very excited we're getting a Soto figure for him uh, because again, I love the color scheme for that suit. And I think it's going to make a fantastic Soto figure, assuming there's not so many stickers, but... 
probably will be. In any case, uh, this one's great. Definitely recommend checking it out. Like I said, it was a premium Bandai release. So at this point, if you're looking for it, you could try, you know, Toe Collectibles, things like that might still have a few in stock. Uh, don't know. But otherwise, I would check the usual, like, aftermarket places, Mandarake, Yahoo Japan Auctions, or Japanese Mercari. The latter two, you can uh, check out Baiyi to get access to those for you. So, uh, very cool. Definitely recommend it. And I just think it looks phenomenal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.